Hello there, welcome back. So today's video is about Google Pixel 7. Yes, we have some leaks that tells us what to expect from the next gen flagship phone. This video is gonna be short as we don't have a lot to go with. With that said, don't go anywhere and let's begin. As reported by Let's Go Digital, Google applied for a patent for an under-display selfie camera in mid-September 2020 titled Full Screen Display with Sub-Display Camera. Now we have seen other companies implement selfie camera under the display and it seems this is going to be the next big thing in addition to foldable phones. Although the under-display camera tech has become much better in hiding the camera and giving an immersive experience, the picture taken were not up to the mark. But slowly things are getting better and the picture you get are definitely usable most of the time. However, Google here is taking a different approach, which doesn't let the camera quality get affected. In camera mode, the prism will beam light through the screen right onto the sensor. But the part of the screen that light has to travel through isn't made of pixels as it happens with other under-display camera phones. Therefore, the camera quality should not be impacted. Let me explain you how Google's version works. The patent highlights the need to increase display size without increasing phone dimensions. It involves a sub-display, simply put a secondary screen under the display, and a prism, with an emissive display and a small non-emissive part. The non-emissive screen will let the sensor get sufficient light, offering better quality photos. Furthermore, the emissive part of the screen will radiate light, which will end up hiding the camera cutout. This animation made by Let's Go Digital explains this very well. While this seems easy, it's not. It poses two immediate problems. First is the need to cut the OLED panel, which is challenging in itself, and then the involvement of moving part, which as you are aware might stop moving because of malfunction and ruin either the display or the camera. That said, if Google goes forward with it, then this will surely be good not just for the Pixel lineup, but also for the whole tech industry. So that is it for today, hope you enjoyed it. Do subscribe if you like and hope to catch you in the next one.